Yes, 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 welcome back to the channel. If you don't want to watch this video, skip to another one and then I see you there. But um, I was thinking about, I posted a question on my EurovisionWorld.com community page and I was like, in a world where what happened on October 7th last year didn't happen, could Israel win Eurovision again? And uh, most, I think, so far, is, I think I said she's winning. Top 5, top 10, no comments. I think it's very even at the moment. I just had a post up for like an hour or so. I have not watched it. But, um, I mean, looking back, I mean, I have to be very honest. If I'm looking back of all the songs of this whole year, this is a winning entry. If we just base it on the song, I know we have to put, I know people cannot separate the politics and the, it feels like they, we have the politics, the country and the singer. It feels like we can separate it. And But I want to give her a fair chance. That is what I do on my channel. I talk about everyone. Uh, but in a weird universe, when what happened last year never happened, she can actually have won this. Eden Kulan, uh, we don't know the result. I mean, Eurovision is in three weeks. And um, in a weird universe, she can have won the whole thing. We don't know the result yet. I don't know how this is going to turn out. But <sighs> yeah, let's. I mean, I'd, I'm, and I'll also be like, it's such a shame that fact that we have not heard her live. Because that is what I've been waiting for so long after her release of the Hurricane music video, where her vocals is stunning. She's one of she's maybe top five singers across the year, and I was like, it's such a shame the fact that we have not seen her on EurovisionWorld.com, Eurovision party, pre-party everywhere. She has not been in, in any Eurovision pre-party, <laughs> which I cannot blame blame her because I think what the response would be would be a very lot of booze, and uh, I. I'm terrified how the audience is gonna respond to her in Malmö. I think they're gonna give her 10 times harsher booing than they gave Polina Gagarina and the Russian twins back in 2014 and 2015. You know what happened then? Google. Uh, so I'm terrified. I'm, I'm actually very terrified what's going on, what would happen when she's perform, when she's performing, if she's qualifying, or if she's in the finals, gets the 12 points. I'm terrified for that and I'm I, I want to say if you just said, took take the song and the singer itself or just take that part of the three equation the politics the country and the singer and the song she is one of the best she is one of the best this year and I have to be honest and say that because I cannot sit here and lie on my channel <sighs> but anyway, I found a clip actually that we have have for almost 40 seconds of her singing the song live and apparently in the comments She sounds better Live than she does in the studio track. And I was like, how is that possible? Because that woman's voice is phenomenal Let's have a sneak peek shall we? Sweet Jesus, um, we can take that again. I mean, oh, this pains me. This pains me so much.
it pains me so much because I was like, yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen the many reactors doing this and Girl, you make me cry with that voice. Oh, that is a beautiful voice. Oh, and she's just singing a cappella and she's making me cry. Can you imagine when she sings this live with the music? I mean, the th oh, it pains me. It pains me so much for this because. It pains me so much for this because just the vocals and the song alone is oh, I can see this as a top three entry this year. That's how good she is. This is one of those years. This is the wrong year for her to be here with this song. I mean, if she was competing next year, 2026 to 2027 with this song, in the year, but not now. She could have won this whole thing. She could have won Eurovision like this. Because this is a jury winner. This is a public. This, if the public would be behind her, she could have won it hands down. This would have been one of the best winners for the last 10 years. If she, if the circumstances and the situation were different, she could have won this. She can want this. Oh, I mean, it pains me to say it, but uh, yeah. I think if you just base it on the song, if she's not qualifying and she's not in the top five, yeah. And if she's not even winning. I mean, I don't know what to say. Just listen to her singing a cappella two times now in a row for the first time. <sighs> she hits my heart with that voice. It's so crystal clear. Her voice is so beautiful. And she's so powerful with that. And she's just playing around and singing. <sighs> I mean, I'm gonna be say. I mean, no, I don't support Israel's action on Palestine. I don't support them and what they are doing. I don't support anything what's going on down there. I mean, I don't support what I mean what Hamas and Palestine did on October seven. I don't support that. I don't support what Israel's doing as a respond. But I support her, only her, only her, and only the song. And if I'm gonna say it. This could have been my winner this year. Yes. You may disagree or hate me for talking about her and giving her a platform, but that's what I do. I don't should I don't say I don't push her aside because what's going on. She cannot blame she's not to blame what happened. She's not to blame what happening at the moment. I want to give her love support and I want to give her a shout out because this woman has probably one of the best female voices I've heard in a long time in Eurovision and this song alone could have been if this was a winning if this circumstance was different and she actually won this this could have been one of the best songs that have won since I started watching Eurovision 25 years ago she's that good <sighs> yeah, I think I've talked. You mumble, but <laughs> anyway. Gosh, Eden, you are so beautiful with that voice. Oh hi, you're still here. Have you? Yeah, I hope you have not forgotten to subscribe. So subscribe here and look for the uh, recommended video over here and end credit now. Bye. <laughs>